we have all of our tracks laid out individually in our timeline. This is a live off the floor jazz session that contains simple overhead drums, bass, guitars, and vocals. Because GarageBand isn't quite as advanced as some of the other DAWs out there, we're going to have to remove all the effects from our tracks before exporting. Click on the track and the edit window will pop up on the right of the screen. Turn off your effects here by toggling the LED light to the left of each effect. The LED will be off when the effect is off. If you have an amp simulation on your track, the best thing to do is to export a copy with the amp simulation on and one with it off. Having a clean signal will allow us to later change or blend new sounds into the original track during the mix. Now we're going to repeat this with every one of the tracks in our session. Once all the effects have been removed, scan through your tracks to ensure all volume levels are at 0 dB. Your master should also be at 0 dB. Now we're ready to export our tracks. To do so, click and drag your mouse over all of the audio in your session. Solo the track or group of tracks you would like to include in your stem and then click Share in the toolbar. Then click Export Song to Disk. For our stems, we're going to bypass the compressor setting. Once unclicked, GarageBand defaults to exporting in CD quality. Then hit Export. Once you click Export, it will ask you where you want the files to go. In our GarageBand folder, click New Folder and name it Stem Exports. Now we're going to label this file. In this case, we're going to call it Song Name Tracking Guitar One. But of course, Label the track accordingly to what you are exporting. Once a folder has been assigned and your stem is properly labeled, click Save. Keep in mind, if the song is longer, your file will take longer to export. Once this finishes exporting, repeat this process with all of the other tracks in your session. 